My name is Dennis Deloach, and I'm the host of the Uncle Jim Effect podcast, and welcome to episode number 15. I cannot believe we're on episode number 15, but I promise you that we will do our best to create tremendous value for you. Uh, This episode 15 uh, is a Friday focus episode, and it's titled Realize Your Greatness. Before we get started, I just want to thank you so much for the tremendous growth and response we've had. Please subscribe below to our channel. Uh, Leave a comment, uh, like it. If you have any comments or emails you'd like to send to us, you can do that at delochpodcast at gmail.com. That's D-E-L-O-A-C-H podcast at gmail.com. And as I mentioned last week, we're officially on Apple Podcast and Spotify. So please go there and look under the Uncle Jim Effect Monumental Podcast. So let's get started. So realize your greatness. What does that mean? Is greatness synonymous with wealth, power? What is greatness? Uh, I asked that question knowing that that's not what it is. Some people align greatness with power wealth, prestige, money. Uh, But today we're talking about true greatness. So we're going to define that. And so it says true greatness is shown through one's works and actions and the way in which they impact the lives of others. It does not make excuses or shy away from failure. And I love that. So greatness is how your works and actions and words impact the lives of others and it does not shy away from excuses or failures and we talked about that earlier this week uh, on our podcast to where you need to embrace failure 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 just means you're on the right road and as an alignment process to get you back where you need to be and so true greatness is taking our actions, our works, and pointing them or directing them towards the lives of others and making an impact so that they become great. That's how we become great. And I love that concept. We've heard before in the past that whatever you want in life, give that away and you will receive it. And it's the same here with greatness. If you truly want greatness, according to this definition that we've talked about, you need to give away actions, works to others to help them achieve their greatness. Um, Being able to lift others into their greatness, the way to do that is to create value for them. And how do you create value? What does that mean to create value for somebody? What I found in my life is the times I've created value the most for others is when I truly focus on what they need and what they want not what I think they need or what I think they want. And so our ability to help others achieve the goals in their life, believe me, that will make you great in their eyes. And so our goal is to always help others realize their dreams. And in so doing, we will realize our dreams. Uh, Robin Sharma has a great quote about this. I'm going to read it. It's a little long, but stay with me. Uh, It's fantastic. Greatness comes by doing a few small and smart things each and every day. Comes from taking little steps consistently. Comes from making a few small chips against everything in your professional and personal life that is ordinary so that a day eventually arrives when all that's left is the extraordinary. So what he's saying there is all of us have greatness or extraordinary inside of us. The point of life and failures and mistakes is the ability to chip away at the ordinary in our life and get rid of it so that all that's left is the extraordinary. All of us have greatness in us. We do not have to create greatness. We just have to work towards helping others get theirs and our true greatness will be exposed. Uh, One of my favorite uh, scriptures says, out of small things proceedeth that which is great. What does that mean? Out of small things proceedeth that which is great. It's the little things we do in life that add up to greatness. 
we don't do great things all at once. I think if you look at any of the great wonders of the world, they probably took a long time to develop. Lots of times we'll see someone and think they were an overnight success until we hear their life story and realize we got there overnight, but they've been working on that for years and decades. So always remember, it's the small things done every day to get rid of the ordinary in our life and to focus on that 10x goal or the extraordinary and to help others focus on theirs. That's what makes true greatness. That's what makes us great is to help others receive their greatness. So what do I need to do to be great? I've identified six things that I want to share with you that I think will help you and I both realize our greatness and how we can help others. So first and foremost, we need to realize everyone has greatness in them. We can see people that in our life and in our estimation and in our judgment might not be in a great moment of their life but we know that they all have greatness or that greatness potential in them. And our job to create our greatness is to work with them or to help them and lift them to find that their greatness. So always remember, first and foremost, everyone has greatness in them. And second, we need to understand that somebody, I promise you, is waiting on you to help them discover their greatness. Whether they know it or not, it's absolutely true. Whether that's a family member, a child, a spouse, a neighbor, a coworker, a stranger we haven't even met yet, somebody is waiting on you to be their deliverer of greatness in their life, for you to chip away at their ordinary, to expose their extraordinary or their greatness. The third thing we need to remember is the more that we give, the more we will receive. So as we help other people realize their greatness, selfishly, we are absolutely gaining. We're gaining joy. We're gaining uh, admiration from them. All of these things we're gaining that is absolutely helping with our greatness. So remember that when you're spending time in the service of others, you're absolutely helping yourself. Uh, fourth thing on this journey to greatness is that our journey, meaning my journey and your journey to discovering our own greatness leads to helping others find theirs. So as I'm looking to determine my greatness and I look elsewhere along that path, we have to keep our eyes on because there is always going to be opportunities presented to us to help others achieve their greatness. We will be the answer to someone's prayer or question and providence will take us to them or will be brought to us so that we can help them achieve their greatness. And in so doing, we will achieve ours. The fifth thing is that we do not allow anybody to derail us on our journey to greatness. There are those, we, uh, we understand that, uh, saying or quote that misery loves company. It is nowhere more evident than when people truly start off on a greatness journey in an effort to try and help others realize their greatness by working with them than for people to try to pull you down, to belittle you, to talk bad about you, to do all of those things. Do not allow anyone to do that. Generally speaking, I've always tried to relay things back to sports. And I've always thought about the people in the stands at a football game. Pretty much everyone in the stands knows everything there is to do in football and could make the perfect play call for the offense. They could put them in the perfect defense to stop it and have the luxury of being able to bad mouth people or uh, Monday morning quarterback teams. And people do that in life. They'll sit on the sidelines. You're out there in the field getting dirty and dusty and putting your life on the line to chase greatness and a goal to help others. And they're criticizing you. Just I would uh, take pride in that 
uh, ability to use that as fuel to realize those people, if they're truly not mentors or people that are giving you constructive criticism, realize that it's unfortunately their shortcomings or lack of self-esteem that they're manifesting to you. Do not allow people to derail you off your path to greatness. And finally, faith, hope, hard work, and small things. That's what greatness is about. We have to have the faith to know that all of us have greatness inside of us. We have to have the hope to know that the actions we take will absolutely lead to greatness as we defined it earlier. We need to know that there is no substitute for hard work. There is no magic pill that we need to work hard, diligently, and every day on exposing our greatness and helping others create theirs. And finally, remember that it's out of small things proceedeth that which is great. It's not the big things. It's not the big announcements. It's the little daily disciplines that we do every day that lead to the tremendously big things. And little things built every day amount to greatness. Uh, in this holiday season, uh, as we near Christmas, is just a couple of days away, I want to express my gratitude uh, for so many things, unbelievable things. One of the great blessings in my life has been the ability every morning to write uh, three things that I, as I review yesterday, I write three things that I'm grateful for. And the reason I do that is I used to write them in the morning what I'm grateful for, and you tend to run out of things because I was always grateful for my health and for my family and these things. But I found that that became not mundane, but as I would review yesterday, I would see the tender mercies that God would put in my life, or I would see how someone did something for me that really stood out. And so I wasn't starting fresh saying I'm grateful for these things. I literally could look back at faith in action, and works in action, and see things that I was grateful for. So I would encourage you every day, start off first thing in the morning to look at yesterday and identify three things in your life that you were grateful for yesterday. And it maybe it'll help you. It did really help me. But I'm grateful for so many things that uh, I honestly, like Lou Gehrig said uh, 60, 70, 80, 100 years ago in baseball, today I feel like the luckiest man on the face of the earth. And I truly do that. And I'm grateful for you, for your time. There's nothing more valuable than time. And I appreciate the time you've taken to listen to these. And it means the world to me. And uh, here's to discovering your greatness and my greatness, one step at a time, chipping away daily at the ordinary in our life so that all that's left is the extraordinary. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And we will talk to you soon.